There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below. But for now, today's question. The question, what should a person do if they forgot whether they took blood pressure medicine or not? Answer by, Liang Haisei. Omitting blood pressure medication once won't lead to any serious complications, stroke, heart attack, kidney failure, even blindness. It's not having one's blood pressure well controlled over a longer time that lead to these serious complications. So, if one isn't sure if one has taken these meds, do nothing, and take the meds as scheduled the next time, better than mistakenly taking another extra dose, which might lead to a too low a blood pressure and feeling faint slash dizzy, in the worst case out, eating to a collapse. Should one know for certain one has forgotten to take these meds, if not too much time has passed, take them, a bit later won't matter, don't if it was close to the next dose. Dose, roughly speaking that would be past the halfway mark. This is quite a common problem, the more doses one needs to take over the day, the lower the adherence to the medication schedule is. That's why for critical meds like AIDS meds in the past needing multiple doses a day to keep the disease under control people set alarms to remind them, or it could go horribly wrong. So as docs we whenever is possible should strive to prescribe all meds once daily. This is how I take my antihypertensive drugs, at the most twice daily, like I take my anti-glaucoma eye drops, even I sometimes forget to take my meds and take them later when I remember to take them. For people who are forgetful, having pill containers filled weekly, per day, for time of dosing, morning, noon, afternoon, nights, so one can check if they have taken their meds as a practical way to deal with this. In the Netherlands the pharmacy on request delivers most meds in rolls in the right sequence, aka Baxter rolls, so no need to think, just follow the medicine strip bags on the roll, all clearly designated by name of the patient, her slash his date of birth, the pharmacy, the meds in that paw, right of the roll, by the day of the week and when to take them, morning, noon, afternoon, nights, free of charge as a service. They only do it if one is on multiple meds, greater than 5 I think. It is the standard of care in prisons and other institutions. People use it when going on a cruise etc. Since they have one machine which does this special packaging for many pharmacies it's affordable. In our region most pharmacies have merged. The pharmacists working together in a very big partnership, each having a task. E. G. Procurement is done by two pharmacists for the whole partnership, saving costs on procurement and logistics, since they also do H. All made deliveries for a nominal fee of 1, 1 US dollar and 10 cents. Pharmacies outside the partnership for a fee can make use of these resources, since it takes time to implement changes, the system is less flexible. On a posting on a consumer television program website I learned that it doubles the costs of the meds, but the health insurance will pay for all these costs. Answer by, Ruben Fogg. High blood pressure can cause strokes, heart attacks, and heart and kidney failure. It is also related to dementia and sexual dysfunction. These problems can be prevented if they are well treated and controlled. Now come to your question if your parents take blood pressure medicine regularly then it's necessary to take medicine at the same time every day so to get good result, as our parents get their age they forget whether they take medicine or not so if they don't take medicine because extra dose always dangerous, too much blood pressure medicine could make lightheaded, to overcome of such problem take a box and put it weekly medicine like if your parents take one tablet in a day then keep seven tablet in this box or you can set remainder in their mobile so they medicine on time every day. Answer by, Arjun on SR, set a reminder, text or phone reminders, if your parents use a phone, work a treat. Adherence to appointments is greater than 55% higher when a patient is sent a text prompt the day before. Using the same logic, can you set an alarm in order for them to take it? That's the best way. Alternatively, divide a container into appropriate segments and place the medication in the segments, that way you can check whether your parents have taken their medicine or not. There are items you can buy here in the UK, such as these pill organizers that cost only a few pounds slash dollars but would do that job for you.